Hello everyone, this is Dan, your resident Digimon fan. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Digimon card set unboxing. Uh, this time we'll be opening up EX04, which is known as Alternative Being. The cover art here shows Omnimon Alter S. And uh, I believe that the main feature of this EX set is it's going to include a lot of alternative versions of Digimon. So instead of Gabumon, you'll have Psychomon, you'll have Black Agumon, that sort of thing. So uh, pretty excited to see what we get in this set. I've not looked at card lists. I've only seen very basic information on the website. So it's going to be a pretty interesting set. Doesn't seem like too long since the last set. I think maybe a month ago at most. So it's been uh, quite an interesting uh, period for Digimon cards. Having gone months and months without a new set and then suddenly having two in quick succession is very strange. But not complaining. Lots going on for Digimon at the moment. So let's have a look at the box. So this is Alternative Being EX04, 74 types in total, so it is an EX set, which means that it doesn't, it's not a full set, it won't have as many cards as a normal set. It says down here, 12 cards per pack, 24 packs per box, and there's a box promotion, each box contains one of seven alternate art cards, so pretty standard stuff. On this side you can see Alternate Being, same on that side. On the back we will see the 74 types, so we have 24 commons, 20 uncommons, 18 rares, 10 super rares, and 2 secret rares. So I've only got the one box, and these sets tend to have fewer super rares, the EX sets that is, so probably expected to only get 6 maybe instead of the usual 7, but we will see. Nothing on there, nothing on the bottom either. Alright, let's get some scissors and open this guy up plastic is off let's take a look inside and see what our box topper is so we've got a box promotion pack alternative being okay so it's actually a pack and not just a clear uh, alternative card so i don't actually know what's in these packs let's have a look let's just sort the box out okay here we go so this is the box promotion pack alternative being one card per pack and i'm guessing that it's tamers then so we've got one two three four does it say on the back what we get? Mm, no, it doesn't. Seven times in total. Check this pack's full card list on our official website. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's open this guy up. And the card we get is... Adzi Beast Blade and Shining Dragon Bullet. Okay, so this is a card from EX4. Okay, so this must be the Omnimon Alter S signature move, or maybe like both of its signature moves, because Omnimon often gets two. So Adzi Beast Blade is probably Kreska Ruimon's. And then Shining Dragon Bullet would be Blitz Greymon's. That's pretty cool. Um, it's a hollow. Uh, I don't know if it's an alternate art of the card from the set, but, you know, not going to complain. Interesting first pull. Alrighty. So that is the uh, box promotion pack out of the way. Let's move that to one side. Let's have a look at a standard booster pack. So same as what we normally see on the box. Nothing too exciting there. Right. Let's move this out the way and make a start. Pack number one. Right, let's make a start. So to start off with, we have Male Bergeron. So this is the Bergeron variant from Digimon Cross Wars. Very cool. So again, with the alternative being uh, mantra for this set, having Male Bergeron makes sense. So that's pretty cool. I do like the artwork, doing whatever its signature move is. Next up, we have Lopmon. Of course, Lopmon is basically a variant of Terriamon, although you could argue it's its own thing. But this uh, this makes sense. And you can see down here, it does say one tamer card with Xu Chong Wong, which I believe is Susie's uh, full name. So very nice. Next up, we have a Gaussmon, who I think has something to do with the Blue Greymon line in Cross Wars. So that'll be why he's on here. And that's Missimon, or Missimon, I believe, who I'm guessing is the in-training form of this line. Uh, very interesting. Moving on, we have Garurumon. This is the black variant of Garurumon. Uh, normally, this one doesn't say Garurumon black, uh, brackets black. Uh, so, yeah, that's not very uh, helpful naming convention, but this is the black Garurumon. Very nice. Uh, any sort of references we can garner from this? Mm, kind of tricky to see. Next up, we have Wendigomon. So Wendigomon obviously is the sort of the dark digivolution form of Lopmon. And I don't think that this is necessarily a reference to anything, but if you've seen the Digimon movie, or certainly the one, the part of it that involves um, 
Colorado and Lotmon and Terriamon, then uh, you'll remember Wendigomon is pretty cool. All right, moving on, we have Geo Greymon, of course, a variant of Greymon, and this guy debuted with the Data Squad anime. So very cool, and it's a Koki artwork, and I love me some Koki artworks. At some point, I want to collect like all the Koki artworks in a folder and put them side by side. I think that'd be really cool. Next up, we have Antilamon. So Antilamon is an interesting one because it's quite clearly an evolution of Lopmon, but I believe that Terriamon can also become Antilamon as well as uh, Rapidmon. But I like Antilamon; she's in Tamers, very cute. Next up is Digital Translator. So we're looking at Kazuamon here, fighting off Mega Gargamon, or maybe it's Black Mega Gargamon by the looks of it, which I didn't even know was a thing. So that's pretty cool. Very nice. Next up is Dark Maeldramon. Um, I think maybe this guy was in Cross Wars, but I don't know what it's a variant of. I guess Maeldramon, but I don't even know Maeldramon was a thing. Uh, interesting. Next up is Chromon. Chromon being an evolution of Peckmon from Data Squad, so I imagine that's why he's in this set. And the first rare at the back of the pack is a Mac Galgamon. Very cool. And behind him we have Dark Knightmon, who's also a regular rare. Very nice. So that's pack number one. Moving on to pack number two. Starting off, we have Male Bergamon as always. We have Lopmon again, Gaussmon again, Garurumon again, and Tilamon again. Okay, that's kind of weird how that was all the same ones as in the previous pack, but I have noticed this patterning before, so it doesn't really surprise me that much. Trident Gaia here, and I believe that is Victory Greymon in the background. Teruemon, part of the Lopmon evolution line, I believe. Then we have Metal Greymon. This is the virus version of Metal Greymon, my favorite version of Metal Greymon, and it's a Koki artwork. Very, very nice. We have Yukomon, the darker version of uh, Kyubimon. It's all purple instead of yellow. Very cute. We have Wegarumon, Black Wegarumon, of course. Nothing too special to see there. And on the back, we have Matt Galgamon again, and Dark Knightmon again. Okay, so when I was talking about patterning, we're only two packs in, and we had almost all the same cards. I don't know if it's more common in the EX sets, because they are uh, smaller sets, but still, I feel like there's no excuse for that sort of thing. I don't even know how that happens. Right, pack number three. At least we're starting with something different in this one. So we have Tarnished Hero. So this is Ghoulmon, and that is the dark version of Cherubimon. I think it's known as, like, Vice in Japanese, um, and Evil in English. Uh, but yeah, Tarnished Hero is kind of funny. I've been playing Elden Ring, so that, uh, that speaks to me in a certain way. Next up is Deadly Axemon. That's him down there fighting off... Nightmon over here, so obviously a reference to Digimon Cross Wars. Galgamon, another Koki artwork. Lots of Koki artwork in this set, which is really nice. Happy about that. We have a Gabumon, a Kenji Watanabe Gabumon as well. This is the Black Gabumon. Very, very cool. And you can see Black Garumon in the background. Very, very nice. Next up is Terriamon, along with Bergamon having a snack. A nice little burger. Look at his chubby cheeks. Man, I'm hungry now. Uh, next up is Geomon. So I imagine they've got Geomon in here because there are variants of Graumon and War Graumon, um, but I don't think there's a variant of Geomon himself. Here we have an Antilamon again, but this is a different Antilamon, so this is clearly the darker version. So there's actually like two versions of Antilamon. There's one with his ears straight up, and then there's one with his ears bent, and I believe the bent-eared ones is the uh, considered the evil version, uh, and they certainly make it look darker. Okay, here's the Adzi Beast Blades and Shining Dragon Bullet. So it is exactly the same as our box topper, but our box topper was hollow. So there you go. Now it's a bit of a disappointing box topper, but it is what it is. Next up, we have Sunamon, who looks really angry. He is uh, in a cage, like a glass container. What is going on in here? Jesus. Uh, we have a Galmon, who's having some juice after a bout in the ring. Very cool like it. We have Henry Wong and Shu Chong Wong, so Henry and Susie from Digimon Tamers. Makes sense for them to be in a set, as we've got Terriamons and uh, Lotmons as well. And on the back we have a Chaos Gallopmon. That's just a regular rare. Alright, cool. Very nice regular rare. And then I assume, oops, sorry, I assume that's Kazuamon in the background. He's fighting alongside with. Very cool. I've always liked Chaos Gallopmon. I just prefer the colour scheme. Let's move these over here. Okie dokie, we are now on pack number four. 
Starting off, we have Pekmon. So Pekmon was also in Digimon Dave Squad. So cool to see him evolves into Chromon. We have Skull Knightmon, who I believe we've already seen. Um, but if not, Skull Knightmon, nothing particularly cool to see here. He's just fighting a Knightmon there. So uh, Full Metal Blaze. So this is, I think it's Zed Garurumon's at signature attack. I think that's Zed Garurumon. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Or maybe it's Garurumon X Antibody. No, I don't think it's the X Antibody version. Uh, hopefully he's in the set so we can find out. There we have an Agumon, another Kenji Watanabe art. Very cool. This would pair very well with the Gavamon, I think. Um, looks very nice. Is that Black Gatamon? I think it might be. Moving on, we have Heaven's Judgment, which is the uh, Holy Cherubimon's version, or like Vice, or uh, Virtue, sorry, or whatever it's called. Uh, so the good Cherubimon's signature move. Very cool. We have Renamon, of course. You can't have a set without Renamon. And just like the Geomon line, I believe that there isn't like a dark version of Renamon that evolves into Yukomon, so it must just evolve straight from Renamon. We have another Wendigomon. We have a Black Graumon, another Koki art. Very cool. And we have Greymon. This is the Blue Greymon. So the version of Greymon from Digimon Cross Wars. It's cool that we're getting the uh, multiple versions of Greymon in the set, um, but we're getting Geo Greymon, we've got the Blue Greymon, and we've got the Black uh, Virus Greymon as well, who I don't think we've seen yet. Not sure. On the back, uh, oh, we've still got another uncommon. This is Black Rapidmon. Okay, nice. I didn't know that this existed, but now we have a Black Rapidmon. Very nice. Behind that, we have Kiriha and Nene from Digimon Cross Wars. Very cool. So this guy uh, had the uh, Blue Greymon and the Male Bergemon. And Nene had, like, Sparrowmon and stuff, so I don't really know if she has any Digimon in this set, but we'll see. Now, behind that, we have a Gold Vigimon. I love Gold Vigimon. Any sort of yellow gold color works for me. But yeah, Gold Vigimon, very nice. Cool, so still only regular rares so far, but that's quite all right. So we've got plenty to go. Pack number five. Starting off, we have Galgamon, Gabumon, and Terriamon. So all cards that we've already seen so far. We have Peckmon, Skull Knightsmon, Geomon, and Telamon. So all uh, all commons that we already had, so that's a disappointment. Uh, Dalmon, who is the sort of darker version of Talmon. Very cool, so one of the few cards we didn't have already. We have Kokomon, who is the baby evolution of uh, Lopmon. A bit like Gummymon, who is the baby version of Terrymon, who I assume will be in the set as well, maybe. We'll see. Uh, behind that, we have Black War Groundmon. So, of course, got to have a Black War Groundmon to go with the Black Groundmon. Our first rare is a Chaos Gallantmon, so a, a card we already have. And behind that, we have a super rare. We have Kazuamon. Very nice. I think I prefer um, the uh, regular evolution Sakuyamon to Kazuhamon, but they're both pretty cool. Very nice. So that is super rare and number one. Let's put it in a sleeve. Very nice. Do like the colors on that one. Pretty cool. All right, one super rare down. Still got plenty of packs to go. These box openings tend to be a lot quicker than standard sets because they have fewer cards um, in the set, so less to talk about really. So I expect this to be a slightly shorter video than usual. Anyway, that being said, pack number six. We have Full Metal Blaze, Agumon, Fake Agumon Expert, that's a new one. So Agumon Expert was actually a card in BT1, the very first set of the new card game, and this is the fake version. Ooh, it's purple. Very scared looking Terriamon right there, very nice. We have Greymon, this is the blue virus Greymon, so not the blue Data Squad version, but the blue virus version, so it's important to get those the right way around. Heaven's Judgment, we've already seen, Renamon, Wendigomon, Black Gargamon, that's a new one. See, with the colours and the way that they've drawn it, it could just be regular Gargamon that just looks like it's black, but yeah, Black Gargamon makes sense. We have Gaia Reactor, um, is that Gaiamon? I guess that would be Gaiamon, uh, or Samudramon, I think he's known as in the English uh, in the English dub. But yeah, he's an alternate version of... Um, I can't remember. See, you're more likely to see this guy than you are to see the original one. Um, I'll put somewhere on screen. And next one, we have Agamon. This is the Data Squad version of Agamon with the wristband, so that is an alternative version. 
On the back, we have Kiriha and Nene, and behind that, we have another rare gold Vidramon, so nothing new in that pack. Okay, let's move on to pack number seven. Pack seven, we have Fake Agumon Expert, Greymon, Male Bergemon, Lopmon, Gaussmon, Geogreymon, and Telamon. We have a first Pinamon. Um, so I guess that is the line that evolves into Pekmon and Chromon. We have a Digital Translator, a Kazuamon Attack, a Dark Male Bergemon. On the back we have a Cherubimon Rare, very cool. Very menacing looking card, and just for regular rare as well, very nice. And behind him we have a Super Rare, we have Black Mega Gargamon, which I guess was to be expected. Very cool power pose that he's, uh, that he's doing there, very nice. So we've got Black Mega Gargamon, we've got Kazuamon, we're slowly working our way through the uh, Digimon Tamer's alternative mega forms. Very cool. Right, so let's keep going. Pack number eight. Starting off, we have Male Bergamon, Lopmon, Gaussmon, Garurumon. We've seen this pack before. Tarnished Hero, Geogreymon, and Telamon. Okay, we have Missimon or Missimon, and you can see we've got the Blue Greymon and uh, Male Bergamon in the background. I'm guessing that's the baby form, which is just a bomb. It's just a bomb. Interesting. Uh, so that's new. Metal Greymon, Yukomon, we've already seen. So on the back we have a Cherubimon, and behind that we have Ame no Ahabari, who, which looks like that's Ravemon in the background, who is the uh, final form of Chromon. And Falcomon, I guess, the purple Falcomon. Or is he purple? Or is he black? I can't remember. Hopefully he's in the set. Uh, but cool, that is a card we didn't have. Very nice. Right, so moving on to pack number nine. I think I've been spoiled with something shiny in this uh, this pack, so I'm looking forward to that. Right, Fake Agumon Expert, we have Greymon, Male Bergemon, Lopmon, Gaussmon, Renamon, Wendigomon, Missimon, Metal Greymon, and Yukomon, so nothing new there. We have Kiriha and Nene as the rare, and on the back we have, ooh, is it an alt art? It is, it's an alternate art Blitz Greymon, very cool. You can tell it's an alt art because it's got this glossy finish on the Digimon and then some texture up here. Very cool artwork. Cool, and I like Blitz Greymon as well. I'm still working my way through the Digimon Adventure 2020 anime very slowly. I've not been watching it as much uh, as I had been previously. And I've seen Blitz Greymon come out once, which was pretty cool. I do like it when they Digivolve into something different in the show. Uh, let's put him up there with the box topper. Cool, so so far we've gotten two super rares and we've gotten one alternate art. So I would expect four more super rares and one alt art or secret rare. Hoping for a secret rare, we'll see. All right, pack number 10, I think. Pack number 10, we have a Tarnished Hero, Deadly Axemon. I think we've seen, yeah, we've seen Deadly Axemon. Galgamon, Gabumon, Teriamon, Trident Gaia, Teruimon, Dalmon, Kokomon. Black War Growlmon, so nothing new there. We have Henry and Susie, and then we have Ravemon, which is a super rare, very nice. Not an alternate art, that is its normal version. And then we have Ravemon. I expected him to be in a set after we saw his uh, uh, option card, so it makes sense. And also part of the Data Squad set, so cool to see Ravemon. Okay, that is super rare, number three, looking very good. Right. Pack number 11. Okay, we have Garurumon, Tarnished Hero, Deadly Axemon, Galgamon, Trident Gaia, whoops, Terurimon, uh, Giamon, Chromon, I think we've already seen Chromon. Uh, and then we have Dalmon, Kokomon, very similar to the last set. Ame no Ahabari, the Ravemon attack, and we have Metal Greymon, this being the uh, fusion or Digicrossed version of Male Bergemon and the Blue Greymon from Cross Wars. You see it says it down there. Digicross, Blue Greymon, and Male Bergemon. Very cool. I really like this version of Male Greymon. I think Cross Wars gets a bad rep, uh, but it definitely introduced some interesting Digimon and concepts, so I'm very happy about it. Right, let's move on to the next pack, which is number 12. In pack 12, we have Deadly Axemon, Galgamon, Gabumon, Teriamon, Trident Gaia, Terurimon, Guillermon, Wegarumon, Anti Beast Blade, Sunomon. So I'm not expecting, to be honest, for there to be any more commons and uncommons that we don't have. Uh, maybe some uncommons, but probably not any commons. Uh, but we'll see. So on the back, we have Metal Greymon. And under that, we have Keenan Cryer, who is the tamer of Ravemon. Or I guess Falcomon, technically. 
Uh, but yeah, it was an interesting feature to the series, uh, but turned out to be a bit of a badass in the end. Okay, so that is pack number 12 out of the way, which means we are officially halfway through the box and we're about halfway through our pulls. So we're, we're pretty much there now. Pack number 13. Righto, we have Gabumon, Terriamon, Pekmon, Skull, Knightmon, Full Metal Blaze, and Tealamon, Heaven's Judgment, Black War Growlmon, Black Gargamon, Gaia Reactor. On the back we have Keenan Cryer, and under that we have a Gaiamon. So they're going to call him Gaiamon here, so it's Samudramon. Unless Samudramon is maybe it's, it's the regular version, and Gaiamon is the alternate version. I really can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. I like this guy. He is pretty menacing. And he was very good in the Vile Bracelet, if I remember rightly. In the original dims, anyway. Uh, I think he was on Mad Black Raw, if I remember rightly. Anyways, it's been a while. Right, pack number 14. We have Peckmon, Skull Knightmon, Full Metal Blaze. Ooh, might have uh, dinged that one. Agumon, Antilamon, Heaven's Judgment, Renamon, Galmon, Black Growlmon, Greymon. We, yeah, we've had him before. Another Gaimon and a Blitzmon. Blitz Greymon, sorry. So that's our regular Blitz Greymon to go with our alternate art ones. Let's put them side by side. There we go. Very small, well, kind of similar poses, but definitely a very different art style. Let's put him in a sleeve. I assume we'll get Kreska Rumon. And then Omni, uh, Omnimon Alta S is probably one of the secret rares, I would imagine. We are on pack number. 15, I believe. All right, so we have Agumon, Fake Agumon Expert, Greymon, Male Bergemon, Renamon, Wendigomon, Geogreymon, Agumon, Missimon, Metal Greymon. On the back, we have regular Agumon Expert, so nice that he's a uh, rare in this set. See, this Terrymon is much happier about this Agumon Expert. And behind that, we have Matt and Ty with their Omnimon. Is that the Alter S version? I assume he comes out at some point in of Adventure 2020, but like I said, I haven't made it that far just yet. Although I am like 40 something episodes in, so it's a long series. But then that's to be expected with Digimon, I guess. Right, pack number 16. We have another fake Agumon expert, Greymon, Male Bergemon, Lopmon, Wendigomon, Geo Greymon, Antilamon, Black Rapidmon, Pinamon, Digital Translator. We have another Agumon expert. It's weird how in these packs we get our first rare and then in the next pack we get the same one. I don't know, something going on there, I think. But Agamon Expert, and behind that we have Matt and Ty. Okay, well, that pack was just the same as the one before it. Quite frustrating, but I mean, in a set this small, you're expected to get lots of duplicates, so, you know, it is what it is. Right, pack 17. We have Garurumon, Tarnished Hero, Deadly Axemon, Galgamon, Geogreymon, Antilamon, Trident Skyer, Weregarumon, that Beast Blade thingy. Sunamon, we have a gold Vidramon, the third one of these, and we have a Shine Greymon Ruin Mode. It's a secret rare, all right. Very cool. So this is actually super interesting. So in Digimon Data Squad, there was a moment where Marcus was so desperate to pull off uh, Shine Greymon's burst mode that he ended up tapping into some darkness energy and becoming Ruin Mode for just a moment. It was super interesting because he was worried he'd like killed uh, Thomas, I believe. So it was a super interesting part of the show. But yeah, really nice to see him in a card. I don't think he's been the ruin mode anyway, has been in much since that uh, series. So very cool, happy about that. Uh, awesome. So I guess we're not gonna get another secret rare, so we're probably not gonna get Omni one, but there's still plenty to go. So we're on pack, what, number 18, I think? Yeah, pack number 18, so not many to go. All right, we have Pekmon, Skull Knightmon, Full Metal Blaze, Agumon, Geomon, Antilamon, Heaven's Judgment, Black Gargamon, Gaia Reactor, Agumon. On the back we have Chaos Gallantmon, and behind that we have Medieval Gallantmon. Very cool. Is this this is an alternate art as well? So we've gotten three alt arts. I think that with the um or oh, sorry, two alt arts and one secret rare. I think with the previous EX set, which was the Digital Hazard set, we did actually get more alt arts in the in the set than you would normally get, so that's cool that they're continuing that theme. Medieval Gallantmon, of course, an interesting alternate version of Gallantmon, very cool. Very nice, doing pretty well so far. Still only four regular super rares. Um, I'm not sure if it means we get fewer of those. I still would expect about six, uh, but I guess we'll see. Right, we're on pack number 19, so six to go. 
We have Lopmon, Gaussmon, Garurumon, Tarnished Hero, Deadly Axemon, Antilamon, Trident Gaia, Yukomon, Weregarurumon, the Adzid Beast Blade. On the back we have Rise Greymon, so this is actually the first Rise Greymon we have received, so he's the missing link between Geo Greymon and Shine Greymon. Very nice. And behind that we have Grey Knightsmon. Okay, so I'm guessing Grey Knightsmon is who I thought Zed Garurumon was. I don't think I've ever heard of this Digimon. Did you cross Blue Metal Greymon and Dark Knightmon? Well, that definitely never happened in the show, did it? I don't think it did. Has it ever featured in any, like, Digimon before? It must have. I'll put it on screen uh, my findings after some research, but I have never seen this Digimon before. Huh. Cool. Well, that's super rare number five. Okay, not going to argue with that. We're moving on to pack number 20. All right, we have Gaussmon. Garurumon, Tarnished Hero, Deadly Axemon, Galgamon, Trident Gaia, Terurimon, Dark Male Bergemon, or sorry, Dark Male Dramon, uh, Chromon, and Dalmon. We have a second Rise Greymon. You see what I mean? We get our first Rise Greymon in this previous pack, and then we get one in this pack. Womp womp. And behind him, we have Terriamon Assistant. Cool. So that is the partner with the Agumon Expert. Very cute. Although it does look very concerned. Looks like a book has fallen on his head. That's, that's very unfortunate. Right, we're down to our last four packs, which makes this one pack number 21. Four from last, we have Galgamon, Gabumon, Teriamon, Peckmon, Terurimon, Giamon, and Tielamon, Sudamon, Galmon, Black Growlmon. We have a second Teriamon assistant. This is actually not even funny anymore. This is just clearly the way that the set works, which is uh, weird, very weird. And behind him, we have Falcomon. You know what? I was wondering if we were going to get a Falcomon because we had all of his evolutions. So, yeah, makes sense. Falcomon, Keenan's rookie Digimon. And it's the darker version of Falcomon because obviously there is the uh, lighter green and brown version, which is the one which you'll recognize from Digimon Survive, which was such a good game. Uh, right, so we are on pack number 22. There's only three packs left. We have Gabumon, Terriamon. Oh. Peckmon, Skull Knightsmon, Geomon, Antilamon, Heaven's Judgment, Kokomon, Black War Growmon, Black Gargamon. I might as well just... I was going to say, I might as well just skip the uh, commons and uncommons, because we haven't had any new ones in about 13 packs. <laughs> but we're nearly at the end now. And behind Falcomon, we have a Cherubimon. This is the light version of Cherubimon. Very cool. And we've got uh, Andrew Woman up there. You've got Pegasusmon there. So that's obviously a reference to the uh, Digimon Adventure 2020 anime. Or I would say it probably is a reference to it. Very cool. Right, down to our last two packs. We have pack number 23. So I'm hoping for one more super rare. I don't think we're going to get any more secret rares or alternate arts. We have Full Metal Blaze, Agumon, Fake Agumon Expert, Greymon, Renamon, Wendigomon, Geogreymon, Gaia Reactor, Agumon, Missimon. We have Shadow Seraphimon. Very cool. So he actually appears in Digimon Frontier, I believe. And on the back, we have Victory Greymon. And I believe this is not a, a alternate art. It's just a regular Super Rare. But it is one that we needed. So very happy to have that. So we did get our sixth Super Rare. Very cool. I do like Victory Greymon. It's just Greymon with a sword. But uh, yeah, very cool. All right. So we have one pack left. Pack number 24. Don't hold many high hopes for this one, but you know, I've been surprised before. Let's see what we get. And in the final pack, we have Skull Knightsmon, Full Metal Blaze, Agumon, oh, fake Agumon Expert, Greymon, Heaven's Judgment, Renamon, a different Greymon, <laughs> uh, Black Rapidmon, and Pinamon. We have Cherubimon. Okay, so uh, we actually didn't have the same card. Oh, no, we would have, actually, because I went to a different side of the box. So had I continued the pattern, this would have continued the uh, the second rare in the next pack pattern. Oh, dear. And then behind that, we have a second Shadow Seraf uh, Seraphimon. So again, that would have followed that pattern as well. Very interesting patterning. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what could have caused that. Uh, weird anyway that's all the packs opened so i'm just going to pull everything together i'm going to have a quick look at what i'm missing and i'll be right back 
Okay, so let's have a look at some of the cards that we didn't get. This is actually the Japanese card list, but, uh, you know, it's fine. We're just looking at the pictures. So uh, one of the super rares we missed, of course, was Medieval Gallantmon, but this is the regular art. We did get the alternate art version of this one, so not the end of the world. If we scroll further down, there was actually a Zed Garurumon, so I was right. It's not the same as this guy, which was Grey Knightsmon. Uh, it is a different card. So I am missing that one as well. Moving further down the list, I believe we have everything else on this page. Yes, we do. So moving on to the second page, we have everything up on this top row and we have everything on the second row. We are missing Kresgarumon, which makes sense that we don't have Kresgarumon uh, because uh, we did have Blitzgreymon, so we're missing him. And interestingly as well, Omnimon Alter S is actually a super rare. In this set and that is one of the other super rares so we're missing four uh super rares but we did manage to get the alt art version of one of them so it's not too bad we got all the tamers and we had all of the option cards and one thing i found pretty cool is that we did get one secret rare which was the uh shine greymon but we actually have the alternate art version see this is the shine greymon Ruin Mode Parallel Rare. So very happy that we got the Altar version of him. That's a pretty cool way to, to get him. Um, and there's obviously a bunch of other Altarts available that you can get. Um, some very cool ones, but I'm pretty happy with the ones we got. So if, just to summarize, our regular Super Rares we did get were Victory Greymon, Grey Knightsmon, Blitz Greymon, Ravemon, Black Mega Gargamon, and Kazuhamon. And then in terms of the alt arts and secret rares, we had the secret rare alt art Shine Greymon Ruin Mode. Really, really happy to have this one. We have Medieval Gallantmon as well and Blitz Greymon. And then we had our box topper, which is a hollow version of this card. So pretty good going. I'm very happy with this one. Getting an alt art secret rare is always a very special treat. Um, it's been a long time since I've actually pulled one of these. Uh, so very happy. Uh, I probably won't fill in the gaps with the cards that I'm missing. To be honest, I've not been buying full sets recently. Um, it used to be that I would open two boxes and then I would also buy any cards to fill in the gaps. But in this current economic climate, I just open the one box. And most of the time, I just accept what I got. And I'm very happy with what I got. And it does make it a bit more special. It makes the pulls more significant if you're not going to fill in the gaps. But I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and you'll be picking up this set. Uh, I'm not sure what the next set is. I'm sure that it's going to be a little while between sets now because these two came out in quick succession. But I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys on another video soon. Take care.